After the Tottenham Manchester City match, Ange Postecoglou was really, really pissed off. The Tottenham manager was furious because some fans had been saying that they prefer City to win that game so that they can cut off the chance of Arsenal winning the Premier League. Even in the stadium, a lot of fans were cheering when Man City scored. A lot of Tottenham fans now. And Postcog then said that the club needs a change of mentality from top to bottom. That's disgraceful that fans should be wanting Man City to win and things like that. Saying that the fans didn't do their jobs and all of that. But look at it from a Spurs perspective. And Postacoglu started the season perfectly, very well. Scoring goals for fun and all of that in the first half of the season. But in the second half of the season, Tottenham have been atrocious. Absolutely crap. Smashed up by Chelsea. Slapped up by Arsenal. Liverpool did a job on them. They've been losing matches front, right, left, centre. And finally got a win. A, a, a win that was a struggle against bottom Burnley. A team that are in the relegation spots. They finally got a 2-1 win. So, fans' perspective is, hold up, Ange. You want us to back you to win Manchester City. Why well, you've been slapped up by almost every single person in the second half of the season. Also, they can't make the Champions League. If Aston Villa had drawn, yes, possibly. But Aston Villa just need a draw in their final game against Crystal Palace. While, even if Tottenham won City, they would still need to win the final game of the season. Which is just... So, the fans are like, okay, fine. We can't make the Champions League. Why should we give Arsenal a helping hand to win the league? Secondly, they're like, okay, Ange, you say we should say our team should win and all of that. The fans also just have a voice. At the end of the day, it's you and your players. Yes, the fans may not want something to happen, but the fans are not on the pitch. You control your players. Or are you, starting, are you trying to say that even the players sabotage the match? From what I watched, Tottenham actually played Pride quite well. Kulisevsky had a lot of chances to score and they were stopped by an informed goalkeeper Ortega. Even the stop against Son Ortega was fantastic. Honestly, if it was Edison, at least one of those would have been a goal. So Ange, just like what the, first, the Spurs fans are saying, they'll stick to their job being fans. Stick to your job being the manager and get them good results.